In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to track your lost or stolen phone or tablet or Android device that is having an IMEI number on Google Maps. You could be from anywhere in the world, but you could utilize these five steps to get your phone back. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown. Welcome to Channel Signal Tech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic. Well, if you're not, I do understand you're watching my video for today. Probably you have misplaced your phone. So let's make this simple, quick and easy. The first thing to do here is if you have misplaced your phone, try report try getting the IMA number and reporting it to the authorities. This is going to be your first priority. Now, why I'm telling you to do this is because if anybody else finds your phone and has no intentions of giving the phone back to you or your Android device back to you and they're planning on misusing it, you are not pulled up for any kind of a illegal activity. This is the first step that you need to do before you do anything else. So you rush to the police station or the local authorities, file in an FIR and keep a copy of that FIR okay or keep a copy of that report the second thing is you have an option to get connected to your mobile phone operator so these days we have a lot of mobile phone operators who may just have the facility to track the last location of the sim card or the last location of the phone using its IMEI number itself so if you have an eSIM or if you have a postpaid connection so as to say these guys may just have that facility for you it could even be available for prepaid users, not a problem. You could check with your network provider. So for instance, if you are in the US, you use AT&T. You could call your network provider and ask them to see if they could track your last location. They may just verify your identity and then provide details to you, but it's going to be worth it. Now, your network provider would have your IMEI number or your MEID recorded every time your SIM goes into a new phone. But if you're still not getting your phone, utilize this third step, which may just help you out. Checking with your manufacturer or your operating system providers. Now, some phone manufacturers or operating system providers provide you with this kind of a tracking service. So when you misplace your phone, you could call up the customer support. You could request them to track your phone using its IMAI number. Of course, you would need to provide them with the IMAI number. They may not have your IMAI number. So if you have a bill or if you have the box you could just uh, tell them the IMA number and if they're able to help you you could you know go ahead and get your phone back another way to trace a lost or stolen phone apart from depending on the authorities is to do a research yourself for instance if you're in the US you may just have a website in your location that sells second-hand phones or used products like used mobile phones or used tablets and stuff like that so what you could do is you could first match the name of your your uh, phone or tablet for that new listing and then ask the seller as a anonymous person or an anonymous buyer for the IMEI number of that specific device. If they're not willing to give the IMEI number, you could just tell them that, hey, I just want to check if uh, the IMEI number is clean, if it is not blacklisted and if it is still working and then I'll buy the phone. Then once you get the IMEI number, you could match that with your IMEI number. If it is matching, then that's your phone. So you could do a search like that also. Now that's a low probability of you getting your phone back through online marketplaces, but you could give it a shot. Another method to trace your phone is by using tracking applications like Google Find My Device or, or Find My iPhone or, or if you are a person who has been using those uh, anti-theft applications like Prey, Anti-Theft or uh, Cerebrus or whatever it is, you could actually request for tracking services from these guys and try and track your phone using its IMA number. Of course, those anti-theft applications uh, come with a price, but if you are already signed up for, if you already paid and have a plan, you also have that facility to track your phone using its IMA number. So you could utilize any one of these methods and I hope you get your phone back. But if you do not get your phone or your device back, even by using these applications, the next step for you to do is request IMEI blocking. So if you are in India, you could use CEIR to request IMEI blocking. If you so you could get onto ceir.gov.in, just click on this option, click on block stolen or lost mobile phone, fill up the details out here, get a request ID and keep it for yourself. Now this is a department in India that caters to lost or stolen devices like mobile phones or tablets, Apple or Android. These guys could actually help you to get your lost or stolen phone or tablet back. Once you get your device back, you could utilize this website itself to unblock the IMAI number. 
If you're in the US, Philippines or Bangladesh or Pakistan or Nigeria or anywhere in the world, you could keep in touch with your local authorities or you could also see if you have a department like CEIR that we have in India to track lost or stolen phones. And if you get your phone back, that's fantastic. But So I hope this makes sense and I hope you got some value from my video for today. If you did, give it a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend. Thank you.